we are today a nation in Britain in a state of shock, in mourning, in grief that is so deeply painful for us. She was a wonderful and a warm human being, though her own life was often sadly touched by tragedy. She touched the lives of so many others in Britain throughout the world with joy and with comfort. How many times shall we remember her in how many different ways? With the sick, the dying, with children, with the needy. When with just a look or a gesture that spoke so much more than words, she would reveal to all of us the depth of her compassion and her humanity. You know how, how difficult things were for her from time to time, I'm sure we can only guess at, but the people everywhere, not just here in Britain, everywhere, they kept faith with Princess Diana. They liked her, they loved her. They regarded her as one of the people. She was the people's princess. And that's how she will stay, how she will remain in our hearts and in our memories forever. Good morning, I'm just going to read this statement. This is not a time for recriminations, but for sadness. However, I would say that I always believed the press would kill her in the end. But not even I could imagine that they would take such a direct hand in her death, as seems to be the case. It would appear that every proprietor and editor of every publication that has paid for intrusive and exploitative photographs of her, encouraging greedy and ruthless individuals to risk everything in pursuit of Diana's image, has blood on his hands today. She was an exceptional and gifted human being. In good times and bad, she never lost her capacity to smile and laugh, nor to inspire others with her warmth and kindness.